It is wedding week here on San Diego Living. We're focusing on local vendors who want to make your day extra special and easy on you. This morning we have a wedding and event planner, Hannah Smith from Hannah Smith Events, to tell you why you do not want to skip having at least a person to help you plan the day of your event. Hannah, thank you so much for coming in. We do sure. appreciate it. It's a pleasure. So what exactly do you do? You help people either plan their wedding from very start to very finish, or you just come the day of and make things easy on them. Is that right? That's right. We offer everything from full service planning Planning, where we plan it from the very beginning to the very end or we can also have somebody just come in and help you on your day of so that you're not putting so much pressure on yourself or family and friends. Let's talk about what that is because I don't think people realize what happens the day of the wedding and okay. coordinating everybody showing up on brides do you really want to do that <laughs> I mean take no. the burden off yourself so what happens the day of that people don't realize well it's it's really physically not possible for brides to do it anymore um, weddings have grown so much they are truly a large event now and so on the day of um, if we just have a day of coordinator we'll have the girl first talk to the clients get to know them and go over and make a timeline for them do venue walkthroughs make sure she knows how the bride has planned her wedding and that way nobody else will come in friends or family or maybe vendors that have another idea of how it needs to be this girl has your back and so she'll come in and kind of oversee everything, make sure it's set up in the right way, make sure that everyone's following the timelines, so everything's set up on time so that your wedding can start on time. Um, take care of the guest, if there's guests that have special needs, uh, take care of them, of course take care of the bride and make sure that you know if her hair's out of place, we, we're there to help her, uh, we know how to bustle the dress, and uh, every little thing that happens behind the scenes, which is a lot, because while your ceremony is taking place, your cake may be delivered. So you really need someone who's not related to you, who's a professional, has done this hundreds of times to make sure it's all happening on time. Okay, how do folks avoid a wedding day disaster? I mean, you've probably seen or heard stories. Yeah. How, do, how do folks avoid that? Yeah, well, there's always the unexpected that happens. And so again, you need someone there who's not going to miss out on your cake cutting if they're dealing with an emergency. But really, if you can start from the beginning with a planner, if you can go ahead and hire us for full service. So we come in in the very beginning and start to look at your Pinterest board, start to look at all your favorite things. And then we can give you a direction towards your vision. There's so much out there, it's overwhelming. Here in San Diego, and, especially just to oh, find yeah. the right venue. I yeah. mean, it's so great to consult with somebody yeah. who knows the secret venues in town. Exactly, and um, because a lot of these venues and vendors are on our preferred list, they give our clients a better rate. So in the long run, it actually saves you money to hire a planner. Oh, that's good to know, yeah, okay. Yeah, and then um, that way too, you're not fighting against something. If you find a venue that fits your needs, a vendor that fits your budgets, like your photographer or whatnot, then you're not fighting against it. We don't have to cover up. We don't have to bring in draping to hide those walls that you don't like or right. whatnot. Okay. So it's important to hire a professional. From the sure. very, very From beginning. From the very beginning. Okay, yeah. we talk about having an emergency kit at your yeah. wedding. You guys come in tow with this we kit. We do. We don't mess around. We're pretty serious. What's in your kit? I have to know. I mean, we, have, pins, um, sure. we have a bride's kit and a groom's kit. The bride's kit, I think the number th one thing we use the most are safety pins. We use it to pin up a bustle that may fall. We use it to pin flowers that won't stay in place. There's eyelash glue in there. There Ooh, is- good idea. Yeah, stain remover because you never know. That's horrible when something happens to the dress. And then the little things you might've forgot, hairspray, whatnot, deodorant, you know. Um, and the groom's, groom's kit I find actually gets used is more from the- Is this the groom's kit that's <laughs> like, <laughs> it should be. This year is the groom's okay. kit. Uh, <laughs> and the little cigar box. Okay. That one, um, it gets used by the groom's men I find more often because okay. they're not as well behaved. So we have uh, the Advil in there, the Visine, things to help you from the night before. Excedrin, <laughs> um, Yeah, Got Excedrin, it. all that good stuff. Okay. And then in our full kit here, this is to set up the event. We have our walkie-talkies to talk to each other so we're not interrupting. Oh, that reminds oh. me of Father of the Bride. Yeah, oh, I love this. absolutely. Okay, right. A wine key, because you always have that bartender that seems to have lost his wine key or something. White out, you'd be so surprised. Everything's decorated in white. If it gets a little nick on it, we can throw Fix some it. white out on it. We have umbrellas for the unexpected rain, which doesn't happen often in San Diego, but it but does just sometimes. Case. Yes, right. Uh, glue dots, fishing wire to hang lanterns so that you don't see the wire coming down. A little bit of everything. All a those candle. things, brides, that you, <laughs> trust me, you don't want to be dealing with this no. stuff or tasking an aunt or mom yeah. or a grandma to go, just yeah. let the pro professionals handle it for you. Uh, Band-aids for blisters, 
Tums, you name it, it's in there. All that stuff. All that you stuff literally bring a, a toolbox, a yep. tackle box <laughs> full of the right stuff. Okay, anything else people should know as far as making sure that they hire the right wedding planner, the right uh, day of coordinator? Yeah, I would say make sure that, you know, look look online. If you don't have someone, well, first of all, see if your friends or family members have anyone they recommend. And if you don't look online, look at reviews. We get five-star reviews on all of the sites, on Wedding Wire, on The Knot, all of those. And make sure that this uh, vendor has been around or that your wedding planner has been around and people have tried her out or him out. And what if also, a cousin says, I can do that for you? Oh, absolutely not. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, just because, one, they're related to you. So sometimes there's a little bit of family drama or something. And two, you don't want them to miss out. That's too much pressure. To put on a family member. So at the very least hire a day of coordinator um, just so that you can make sure that someone who does this as their profession time and time again is there to have your back and you don't have to rely on somebody else to figure it out that's all right. wanting and to enjoy grooms, You know what if your bride says honey we don't need that <laughs> I'm organized no hire them make sure you do this hannahsmithevents.com the number's right there on your screen hannah thank you so much for sure, coming thank in. you it was a pleasure it. keep up the good work thank you all right for more information go to our website sandiego6.com and click on san diego living marriage is not a rare occurrence in hollywood and another reality star is tying the knot reporter mary maloney has the latest news in today's hollywood minute Lauren Conrad is a married woman. Us Weekly reports the designer wed former something corporate guitarist William Tell Saturday on the California coast. The couple first met on Valentine's Day in 2012 on a blind date set up by mutual friends. Tell proposed in October 2013. Happy birthday, Harry. The British prince enters a new decade Monday, turning the big 3-0. And it's not the only occasion the palace has to celebrate. Last week, the royal family announced that older brother William and his wife Catherine are expecting their second child. No good deed upset Guardians of the Galaxy's box office reign this weekend. The thriller brought in about $24.5 million. Family Friendly Dolphin Tale 2 came in second with a little over $16.5 million. And Guardians of the Galaxy dropped down to number three, grossing a little over $8 million and surpassing the $300 million mark. For Hollywood Minute, I'm Mary Maloney. All right, getting in shape for your wedding day is a challenge for any bride or groom coming up. Moves that can help you drop a few pounds, whether you have a few months or just two weeks until you walk down the aisle. And next, taking a culinary trip around the world, we're getting to a uh, chance to talk to a local chef with some inspirational uh, cookbook, his best-selling cookbook, in fact, and taking us down the spice route.